We continue to talk about transformations. We talked about translations, that slide, and today we're going to talk about reflections. Reflections flip, okay? Um, it is a flip. It is, they're symmetrical. They flip over from each other. Think like a butterfly. Um, that is the reflection of it. It's backwards when you look in the mirror. So um, it's a mirror image. Um, the pre-image and the image have reflectional symmetry. So it's like um, they, you know, you fold the paper in half and it maps onto itself. They are rigid transformations, just like translations, which means they're rigid. They stay the same size. They maintain the same area. The angles stay the same. The side length stay the same. The area stays the same. Everything about it stays the same. Okay, so let's look at what it looks like. We're going to reflect. We're going to talk about where our mirrors are. So if we have triangle ABC in the picture, find the coordinates of the vertices of ABC after you reflect across the x-axis. So I have highlighted the x-axis. So here's what happens. We have a mirror. That's our mirror is our line of reflection. And we're going to maintain our distance away. So we're just going to flip straight down. We're going to stay on the same line vertically but we're going to flip straight down. So A is one above the axis, so it's going to go one below the axis. So my image of my pre-image, right, A is my pre-image, my image A prime is going to go one below the x-axis, was at two, negative one. B is at six, two. It's two away, so it's going to go two away and go right here. So here's my new B, my image of B, and it is over 6, down 2. I want you to see how it works, and then I'll show you the rules that you can memorize. And then C is over here at 4, over 4, up 5. So we're going to drop down. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to the mirror. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to go below it also. So now our C prime is at 4, negative 5. And so you can see that the triangle has been completely flipped over. C was on top, C prime is on bottom. Okay, so it flipped over the x-axis. So what happens when it flips over the y-axis? So it flips over the y-axis. So flipping over the x-axis looks like this. Flipping over the y-axis looks like this. It's still going to maintain the same distance away from the mirror. We've used our same picture so you can see it. So A, if we're going to flip over this way, it's 1, 2 away. So it will be 1, 2 away. So now it's at negative 2, positive 1. It's at 6, 2. So it's going to be back here at negative 6, 2. Here's my new B at negative 6, 2. And C is at 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where my new C prime is, negative 4, 5. Now this is when we're reflecting over an axis. If we were reflecting over a different line, it wouldn't follow that same rule. But when we reflect over the axis, that's kind of our zero line. Um, that's why it's the same on both sides. And then we have one that we're reflecting across y equals x. This has a slope of 1 over 1, and it passes through 0, 0. I kind of got my line off a little bit, but it should pass through 0, 0. And so imagine what happens if you were to paint ABC. Sorry, let me get to focus. If we were to paint ABC and fold the paper in half diagonally, what would the triangle look like on the other side? Because when you press those two sides of the paper together, it's going to imprint on it. Well, here's what happens. When you do, this is over 2, up 1. So when it flips across, it's going to go over 1, up 2. Now remember, my line is actually not very, I didn't draw it very well. It should have been drawn because my marker was thicker. It should go right through the middle between A and A. So we're still going to maintain our same distance, but now we're at 1, 2. B was at over 6, up 2. Now it's going to be over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be at 2, 6. And C is over 4, up 5. So instead, we're going to go over 5 and up 4. 
So that's where my new C prime. Notice if it was above the line, it goes below. If it was below the line, it goes to the opposite place of where it was. So five, four. So notice, let's go back and look at our patterns and develop our rules for this, okay? There are rules that we can use instead of, so you can either understand how it works on grid paper or you can actually just memorize the rules. Okay, so notice what happened here. When I reflected across the x-axis, x stayed the same and y became the opposite of what it was. x stayed the same, y became opposite. x stayed the same, y became opposite. So what happens is when it was x, y, it's going to become, x is going to stay the same. So when you reflect across the x-axis, x stays the same and y becomes the opposite. Now, that negative does not mean it becomes negative. It means it becomes the opposite of what it was. So if it was negative, it will become positive. Now, let's look at what happened when we reflected across the y-axis, when we flipped this way, horizontally. Well, when you flipped horizontally, look what happened. x became the opposite, but y stayed the same. x changed, y stayed the same. x became the opposite, y stayed the same. So my original, whatever it was, x, y became your x changed and your y stayed the same. So when you reflect across x, x stays the same. When you reflect across y, y stays the same. And x becomes the opposite sign of what it was before. If it was negative, it will become positive. And then lastly, we have y equals x. Just look at what happened. This was x, it went into the y spot. This was y, it went into the x spot. x became y and y became x. x became y and y became x. You know why? It says y is x. So y, this is my y position, becomes the value of x, and my x position becomes the value of y. So y equals x, there's your hint y becomes x and if you read it backwards x is equal to y so x your x your x equals y and your y equals x notice this right here x equals y and y equals x okay so let's look at this with some rules okay um we have d is here at four negative two e is at seven four and f is at eight negative four um, I want to follow this rule. Look at what changed. X stayed the same and Y changed. X stayed the same so and Y changed. They stay in the same order that they were in. So since X stayed the same and Y changed, we flipped over the X axis. X stays the same with the X axis flip. Y stays the same with Y axis flip. So all you have to do is do the same thing it says. So four, if this was four, negative two, then it stays four. So D, D prime becomes four, my new D becomes four, and my Y becomes the opposite of what it was. It was negative two, it becomes positive two. E was at seven, four. Seven stays the same, X value stays the same, Y becomes opposite. For F, X value stays the same, eight, y value becomes the opposite. It was negative four, now it's positive four. So that is a reflection across the x-axis because x stayed the same and y changed in my rule. Okay, let's look at this rule. x, y becomes y, x. Well, x is equal to y and y is equal to x. This is a reflection across y is equal to x. Okay, so we're just gonna redo it again, right? So x, y, so this is x, this is y. So now y becomes x, or your x, your x changed into your y. So they're just gonna trade places, negative two, four. They maintain the same signs. Notice that there is no sign change, right? There's no negative, so there's no sign change. E, your x becomes your y value, and your y position becomes your x value. Okay, with F, your X becomes your Y, my Y was negative four, and your Y becomes your X. Okay, and then this last one, um, X, Y becomes X, look what changed, X becomes opposite of X, Y stays Y. That means that this is a reflection across the Y axis, 
So if we go back to our pre-image, then D, you're going to, your X is going to become the opposite and your Y is going to stay the same as what it was. X becomes opposite, Y stays the same. So X becomes opposite, Y stays the same. X becomes opposite, Y stays the same. X becomes the opposite, Y stays the same. It was negative, it stayed negative. Okay, so that's how you kind of go, we did it before where I told you the reflection, what we were doing and how to follow the rules there. And this one, I actually gave you the rules. Okay, so one last one, it says the endpoints of segment FG are at F negative two, four and G is at two, four. Using just the rules, so not on paper this time, not on the graph, what are the new points if you reflect FG? So if I want to reflect across the x-axis, remember the x-axis, the x stays the same. So the rule is x stays the same and y becomes opposite. There's your rule. And if you know your rule, it makes this really, really simple. So f was at negative 2, 4, x stays the same, y becomes the opposite. Go to g, x stays the same, y becomes the opposite. And there's your new F, your image of F and your image of G. If we reflect across the Y axis, remember your Y axis, your Y value stays the same and your X value becomes the opposite. So that's our rule. Okay, so we go back to our pre-image. Our X value becomes the opposite of what it was. So it was negative 2, it becomes positive 2 and your Y value stays the same. Your X value becomes the opposite of what it was and your y value stays the same. And then if you reflect across y is equal to x, your x, your x is equal to y, x is equal to y, read it backwards, so your x becomes your y, and your y becomes your x, because y is equal to x, that's what it says. So y is equal to x, and x is equal to y. So you go back to your pre-image, so your x value is now your y value, or is the, was what the y value was, and your new y value is the old x. Your g, your x value, your x position becomes your old y, right? It's y, so which is 4, and your x becomes your new y spot, right? Wherever the, um, the y position is. So your y went in the number for y went into the first spot and the number for x went into the second spot okay and so that is your new image um your yeah that's your image from your pre-image um it is easiest i think to use the rules to memorize the rules because when you're counting on a grid you can tend to make mistakes if you don't count correctly um, when you're naming your points and so if you memorize the rules it makes it a lot easier